Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Mark. I'm studying computer science and linguistics at NYU with a minor in game design, some complications with that. And I'm graduating in December. So with this last summer um, in school, I suppose, I want to do a bunch of big things. I'm developing an app, I'm helping out with another app, sort of. I'm making these videos and I want to get as far as I can with learning Japanese. And that's what this video is all about. This is the first language log of sorts, introducing you to to my hypothesis of language learning and I guess just my plan, sort of. I was 90% editing through the video. I have it up on Premiere and it's just too much rambling when I was recording it. So I'm taking that and I'm essentially making it a lot more succinct. Uh, I'm about to get into why I chose Japanese and a little bit of what is going to be coming this summer. So the first thing is why Japanese? Now this summer I was actually supposed to go to Japan, but because of COVID the system was online and I wasn't willing to work from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. local time, teaching English to various students. And I was really excited for it, but unfortunately it never happened. I also have some other reasons for learning Japanese, but it's just been on my list of languages alongside Arabic and Icelandic and Russian. I'm putting Russian aside temporarily, but the plan is to just get as far as I can with Japanese because right now it is a total mystery. So a few nights ago I started learning um, and I'm gonna get into my time blocks in just a moment but here is a clip from that. So I'm sat here outside with the papa. Max, say your name. Okay. And I'm going over the book. Just reading the introduction. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. This is gonna be an adventure but you know if I just demystify a few things I'll call that a win. All right, back to, I don't know how I'm making this first talking vlog, but. Right now I know next to nothing about Japanese. I can say two or three things. My hypothesis for learning a language, not in general, but something that I believe to be true, something that I've already found helpful for myself when getting better at French and sort of learning Russian. I can tell you more about Russian grammar than I can actually speak it. My hypothesis here is that as an adult, you should have a decent understanding of linguistics to learn a language. You should not be trying to replicate how children learn. Sure, you should immerse yourself and expose yourself to a language over time, but five minutes on an app is not gonna get you anywhere. I speak a lot about that in this video here, and you also can't do it just by listening to podcasts and stuff. You have to speak it. You have to watch TV, listen to podcasts. You know, you have to change some mediums in your life, TV, music, whatever, to your target language, as you would with your native language, but also you need to have an understanding of how language works, or so I believe. That's sort of what I'm testing with myself here. I'm studying linguistics. I find it very intriguing. And so I want to act on that to make a learning log over the summer by exploring grammar of Japanese and certain potentially pragmatic functions of certain phrases in Japanese and exposing myself to the sound inventory of Japanese and practicing to gain the muscle memory to make sounds I can't make yet and don't technically hear. Something called culture bound listening if you're curious, but a future learning log will be all about that. Using these concepts to maybe get more out of when I'm watching TV. For example, if I hear watashi wa so many times, I might be able to realize that wa is a morphine that return that refers to me or something. And also using an app like LingApp to, I think apps can be useful for vocab acquisition and general help. And it's also just a daily thing that I can do. Right now I have about an hour to an hour and a half scheduled out for five out of seven days of the week. Definitely not enough to learn a language, but the goal here is to get as far as I can in these small work blocks while also exposing myself to TV and music outside of these work blocks. LingApp would also be outside of the work blocks. Also, LingApp reached out to me because they uh, provided me with a pro account for that last video I made about language learning applications, and they agreed to potentially give out some free trials over the course of this learning log series. So if you're interested in learning a language and maybe you wanna hear what I have to say or tackle your own language learning journey this summer let me know in the comments down below I think each learning log maybe I'll pick a comment or two and I don't know how the system is gonna work I'm gonna be setting them this video and seeing what they say but we'll work out the details later keep that in mind though I think I'm speaking too fast so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit I just don't want to ramble too much the last thing I'm gonna go over really quickly is the plan for the summer this video is meant to serve as a stating my hypothesis and B stating my goals similar to the seashell devlog which will be returning in the future as well it's 
mostly to keep me accountable. And also if you're working on a language or just something in general, you can also check in with yourself every two weeks like I will be. Speaking of, these language logs will be happening every two weeks. This is the first language log, the hypothesis, the plan. The second language log will be on June 19th. So these are every other Saturday. It's gonna be about choosing your resources. Why have I chosen the books that I've chosen? Why have I chosen the TV shows that I'm watching? Why have I chosen these certain podcasts? What do I think is good? Again, this is a partially educated opinion. I don't have a degree in anything, but it's all experiential. Language log number three will be out on July 3rd, and it will be about vocabulary acquisition, space repetition systems, uh, how to use a language learning app best for vocab acquisition. Language log number four on July 17th will be about syntax and grammar study and how about learning how your target language having a fundamentally different word order or knowing what morphemes are and what patterns to look out for, how you can speed up your language learning or so I believe that's the hypothesis I'm testing. And then on July 31st, language log number five will be all about language learning apps yet again. We'll have four more in August. I don't know how I'll continue after that, but that is the goal. This is a fairly loose plan, but the idea here is that planning is essential, but plans are useless. If something goes awry, I finally realize how wrong I am about how quickly I might be able to learn basic Japanese, then I can adjust for that. Because if you make a plan that's too concrete and something goes wrong, the rest of the plan is useless pretty much. I have what I want to do. I have some time set aside and that's it. That's it for this super short learning log one. I think the future ones will be between 10 and 20 minutes because I will be recording my progress throughout the week as I go along. And then I'll also be talking about these various topics. Some other topics I have in mind, here you go. If you are curious about any one of them specifically, leave a comment down below. I'd love to raise engagement by letting people pick the flow of the learning log, so to speak. But yeah, that's about it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I hope I will see you in two weeks on the official learning log number one, where my goal is to be able to read some hiragana. In that phone clip, I had no idea what was happening. I started watching a TV show, and again, I had no idea what was happening. All I want to do is demystify Japanese and see if linguistics knowledge will help me do that. So thanks yet again for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you on June 19th.